Hello everybody. In this video we are going to derive moment generating function of binomial distribution. For this we are going to utilize the theorem and moment generating function of Bernoulli random variable. If x1 up to xn are independent random variables with moment generating functions of mx of 1 of t up to mx of n of t respectively then the moment generating function of random variable y is the product of the moment generating functions. So we know that binomial random variable is the sum of independent Bernoulli random variables. So let x be binomial distribution with the parameters n comma p. If x1 up to xn denote n independent Bernoulli random variables with parameter p, then we can rewrite x as x1 up to xn. Now we found Bernoulli random variables moment generating function in the previous video of this section. So using this theorem above, we can rewrite the moment generating function of x as x1 of t times up to mxn of t. Now we know the moment generating function of each axis here because they are independent Bernoulli's. So we can write 1 minus p plus e to the t times p up to n. So we have n of t, so we can take to the power of n. So this is the moment generating function of the binomial random variable. Now using this we can find expectation and the variance. We know that the first derivative at 0 equals the expectation. So first let's take the derivative of this. Derivative of this will be n times 1 minus p plus e to the t times p n minus 1 times the derivative of inside using the chain rule e to the t times p. So this is the first derivative. And if we plug in 0 where we see t at the first derivative, that's going to be our expectation. So that's going to be n times 1 minus p plus e to the 0 times p n minus 1 e to the 0 times p. So it's going to be, this is going to be e to the 0 is 1, 1 times p is p. So e to the 0 is 1, 1 times p is p. Positive p, negative p cancels out. So we have n times 1 and we have p here. So n p is the expectation. For variance, first we need to find the second moment. Second moment is the derivative of the first moment. If we take the derivative again, we obtain n times n minus 1 using the exponential rules. 1 minus p plus e to the t times p, n minus 2, subtract 1 from the power, times the derivative of inside. This is the second derivative. Which is expectation of x squared. Now if we plug 0 at the second derivative, we find the second moment. So wherever we see t, it will be 0. So we are going to obtain here just p. So we have just p here and p's cancel out 
1 to the n is 1 and n times 1 is n so we obtain n times p from the second term here and here this is p squared and this is p cancels p so we have n times n minus 1 times p squared so this is still 1 so n times n minus 1 times p squared plus np so this is the second moment now variance by definition is equal to expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the quantity squared so expectation of x squared is n times n minus 1 times p squared plus mp minus now we're going to square the expectation of x that was n times p we found here so that's going to be n squared p squared and we don't need parentheses because we directly squared and if we simplify it we obtain n times p times 1 minus p because if you distribute this n squared minus n and we have p squared here so it will be n squared p squared minus n p squared and that cancels this and if we factor out np here, we obtain np times 1 minus p. So this is the variance of binomial. Let's check out this problem. Suppose the random variable x has the following moment generating function, mx of t. 0 0.75 plus 0 0.11 e to the t, the quantity raised to power 27. So what's the distribution of x? So for this problem, we're going to use this theorem. The moment generating function mx of t of a random variable x uniquely determines the probability distribution of x. So if random variable x and y have the same moment generating function, then they have the same probability distribution. Above, we found the moment generating function of binomial. So this looks like the binomial distribution's moment generating function. So let's write the moment generating function of binomial, which was 1 minus p plus e to the t times p raised to the power n. In our problem, we have raised to 27 so let's match the pieces so 1 minus p 1 minus some probability which is going to be a number less than 1 so that is this piece and here p is the probability which is 0 0.11 and e to the t is e to the t and here n is 27 so here we can see that our n is 27 and our p is 0 0.11 so we can say that our binomial has the parameter n comma p will be 27 comma 0 0.11 so this is the distribution of the problem above